So our lab has always been working for many years on CRISPR technologies. Or uh, and when the pandemic broke out, or uh, it's quite obvious that we can adapt the technology for uh, diagnostic applications. Uh, so then, of course, it's a, a matter of whether we think that we can make a difference or not. And then in the end, we decided that we should go for it. So one of the readouts of our diagnostic essay is a deep stake, uh, and we have a control band and a test band. Visually, sometimes it's a bit hard if the band is not very uh, obvious. It's a bit hard for the user to decide whether it's a positive test or a negative test. So we need to have a more objective measure to determine whether a test result is positive or not. And this is where all of techniques that have been developed in engineering and computer science will be very useful. Excited when I heard from Bob Tan um, about um, this um, meaningful test. Um, I think it's a good opportunity for us, to, those um, doing image processing for many years, to find a chance to uh, put um, our technology into uh, use for bigger population of the uh, public. Uh, we think this is a very good chance for us. Users are able to upload a photo and our algorithm will automatically determine the position of the band for intensity measurement. After incubating for half an hour, the user can use our light box to determine the results. Using the phone's LED as an illumination source, if the sample shows green, this indicates the test is positive. If the sample is red when shined with a yellow LED, the result is negative. So our diagnostic platform uh, can go beyond even COVID. Our test can be configured to detect any infectious agents or any pathogens. So then one big area that we can adapt our test to uh, is STDs, for example, sexually transmitted diseases. Because a lot of people who you know, want to test themselves for STDs, but uh, maybe for personal reasons, they prefer to do it in private. So then our test is portable uh, and can be performed at home. So that allows users to uh, be able to self-test uh, for STDs as well in the future.